Hello and welcome. Today, we have a lot of little islands. What are we gonna do with these islands? We're gonna put people on them. I know, controversial content. What we're gonna do today is put two people on each island. Eh, maybe three people. Maybe one person. I don't know yet. And we are going to give each island a different trait. So some islands are gonna get good traits, some are gonna get bad traits, but everyone's only getting one. And we're gonna just see how it goes. See which islands do really well, see which ones get wiped out, see which ones attack each other. And it should be overall a pretty good experience for you guys. Because for me, I have to set this up, which means I gotta do each island with people and a different trait. So give me a moment here. Uh, I'll be right back once I'm done. Wish me luck. Okay, we did it. And by we, I mean me. I did that for you. This sounds like a good opportunity for me to ask you to please like the video because I literally spent too much time doing that for your enjoyment. What a great guy I am. So, what we have here is... I didn't count, but a lot of islands. What we have here is a lot of islands with a lot of traits. I decided to do two people on each trait. The Madness Island immediately wiped itself out, and the Burning Feet Island, well... You can see what happened. Let's go ahead and remove all of the unused islands. Okay. Something I have not mentioned yet is I actually downloaded a mod that was highly suggested because it's fantastic and it's called Selective Breeding. Basically what the mod does is it makes all of the future generations, the future offspring of these people, will always inherit the traits from their parents. So this guy here has got healing aura. They both have healing aura. Everyone that is born onto this island will start with healing aura. So these traits will matter a lot long term because these will matter the whole game because everyone on that island for the whole game will have that trait. So weak. Your father. It also is worth mentioning that if any of these kingdoms were to combine and ally and say mix together, let's say Mage Slayer and Dragon Slayer get together, there might be new people that come along with Mage Slayer and Dragon Slayer. So keep that in mind as we go forward. That will work as a good thing and a bad thing. You might have the tiny people combine forces with the ugly people and then man, GG, they're gone. Uh, let's go ahead and start it and I will talk about who I think has the best chance here. It's gonna be a lot of work to watch all of these, of course. We might be missing certain things, so I'll turn on important events. As I said, we have two islands that are already gone. Burning Feet is still burning. Actually, whoa, he's still alive? Oh, he's still burning. Oh, he's going over here. Okay, so the ones I think I wanna keep the best eye on are the strongest ones. Immortal, I'm very curious. That seems like a game winner. Immortal, they'll never die? Seems huge, right? They are, however, right next to attractive, which is they repopulate faster. And so, oh, someone just got destroyed. Oh, Bomberman's gone. Oh, wait, no, they're still in it. Okay, there's whatever. They just blew themselves up, but they're back. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. I'm curious to see which of these will be most helpful. Like, obviously, I don't think fast is going to be a huge helper, even though it is technically a positive trait. I don't think slow is going to keep them back very much because a speed doesn't really matter. It's more about how quickly you can populate. So I think attractive is going to be huge. Immortal is going to be huge. Some of the combat ones up here, Kingslayer is already at four population. That one might be pretty good. These three here, along with veteran up here, the ones that are good at fighting, will be undoubtedly strong. It's like Bomberman is just burning alive again. Yeah, the Burning Feet guy has made it onto this island. Burning Feet was destroyed. Plague was destroyed. Okay, we have a lot happening. What was this? We had zombies still here. Infected. No surprise there. Uh, burning Feet is officially gone. It just showed me. I mean, I already knew that they weren't going to make it, but it's official now. I don't see them anymore. Yep, they're both dead. So the obvious ones that had a very, very negative trait are getting wiped out. Bomberman is just... I don't know. What does that even do? Likes bombs? I kind of forget. All the immunities... I don't think you're gonna make that big of a difference. Energized is in the lead by quite a bit, which makes no sense, I don't think. I don't know if that does anything beyond just lightning strike when you die. Does it actually buff you? Does it make you faster? That's a distinctly higher number. Look at this, Savage is still at two. Kingslayer's at six. Weird, okay. Uh, something I wanted to do real quick that I meant to do earlier, actually, but I'm glad I remembered before it's too late, is I wanna put I wanna put stone on each island because I'm pretty sure everyone needs stone in order to actually make boats. Which honestly, it makes no sense to me because boats are made out of wood. Whatever, man. Okay, everyone's got one stone. I'm hearing bombs going off still. 
Bomberman still doing their thing. It's only a matter of time before these guys starve to death. They've pretty much scorched their entire island. Oh, a tree. What are you going to do about it? Energized up to 11 here. It's interesting which ones are doing so well and which ones are doing like nothing. Like Mage Slayer, Dragon Slayer, they're doing, they're working, but they haven't gained any population still. Energize up to 12. I would say, wow, they're doing so good, they might win it, but I don't think so. Energized is so self-destructive. If they get out there early though, and they attack, like say they send like one guy over here, and then these people kill him, and then they all die from the lightning strike. I mean, maybe. It's not impossible. We got Veteran at 9, Wise at 9, Peaceful at 9, Zombie at 9. Let's go ahead and bump up the speed here by quite a bit. I just realized I'm playing on one time speed. Why is Venomous doing so well? There must be something about the islands that's making certain ones not really expand. Like, they all have identical amounts of land and seemingly identical amounts of trees. Oh, evil was destroyed? Good, evil has been vanquished. Where were they, here? Oh, here. Evil is gone. Savage was destroyed, right here. Cold aura is gone. What, a wolf killed them? What happened there? It's funny that Bomberman outlived Cold Aura. I don't know. Okay, we're getting some good rates up here. But yeah, I'm definitely confused about why certain ones are just not repopulating at all. They're just stuck at two for some reason. Oh, Bomberman was destroyed officially? How many times are they going to be destroyed officially, though? I could have sworn we lost them already once. I don't know, man. Looks like they're actually gone, though. Genius has declared war on stupid. <laughs> Gluttonous has declared war on slow. These are funny to read. Kingdom Deceitful was destroyed. That was down here. Yep. Peaceful has declared war on zombie. Not very peaceful of you, but I understand. They are zombies. Eagle-eyed has declared war on short-sighted. Acid-proof has declared war on fire-blood. Agile has declared war on immune. Golden-tooth has declared war on slow. People really hate the slow people, don't they? The trees, they're kind of popping up one at a time in the mix of the village because they pretty much have buildings on the whole island. Uh, so the, the wood's going to slow down a bit, but it looks like it's still going fast enough. I don't expect anyone to get far beyond like 50 years. 60 population because of just how much space they have so hopefully we'll start seeing oh dragon slayer was destroyed curse was destroyed mage slayer i think they just died of old age yeah all the ones that didn't really expand are dying of old age lucky was destroyed attractive was destroyed dang fireproof and, and greedy were just destroyed not so fireproof now are you actually that was fireblood i think Blessed was destroyed. Okay, Genius just took over something. Genius has taken over Stupid. That's funny. Okay, so people there are going to be Genius and Stupid, which is going to be very interesting. Genius is the only one that has boats so far, it looks like, which makes sense since they're so smart. Oh, wait, someone gluttonous is out here fishing. They want more food. So we're completely out, except for fat. I don't know why this person is still here. She's just out here making bread. 91 years old, living the dream, man. I don't know where her husband went, but maybe she ate him. That's a bad joke. What's our number one population now? We got 75 on Kingslayer, 5, 76 on Fast, 73 on Peaceful. So not bad. Damn, I really want Immortal to, to do something. Energize declared war on healing aura. They're officially at war. Oh, they just took over weak. Okay, genius is doing it, man. I'd be I'd be down for them to win. That'd be cool. They got boats first. They were first to attack. They're the, look at that. They've taken over two extra islands. They've got five islands now. Look at that. 210 population. I think second place is 77. Okay, healing aura has branched over. Most islands have docks now, it looks like. Almost all of them. Acid blood doesn't. They're like one of the only ones that doesn't. Eagle Eye doesn't. Fast doesn't. Kind of ironic. Immortal, of course, doesn't because they're just living their lives. Peaceful doesn't. Oh, they just did. Look at that. We're going to start seeing some action here. Kingdom Bloodlust was destroyed by Genius. They now have six islands. Healing Aura is one of the only other ones that has more than one island. Yeah, they literally are. No one else has really done it yet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Energize just exploded someone must have died of old age and it set off a total chain reaction sheesh okay well there's two of them left hopefully the lava won't get them but eventually old age will catch them too oh there's one left i'm telling you man energized is a very destructive trait not one you really want look it even like it even lit the next island over on fire 
Look at that's healing aura over there. Okay. Acid proof is spreading. Oh, it looks like they're fighting genius over here. Oh, genius took over that island. Nice. Acid proof's got two islands. Healing aura has two. Poison immunity's got three. It's funny because poison immunity technically shouldn't help at all in this because there's really no poison. I mean, they're way over here, far away from venomous or poisonous, which got wiped out already. So the, their trait pretty much does nothing, but they've actually done a pretty good job of getting out there. Looks like Energize is officially gone. Oh, nope, just kidding. Hanging in there. They're definitely not winning this thing, though. All these ones. Oh, Tuff's got a second island. Good for them. All these islands are so close together, but no one's really made a move. What the heck is the Ko? An entirely new kingdom. Okay, well, they're gone. Healing Aura's got a third island over here. Peaceful's population is dropping. Well, maybe not. They're down in the 20s, though. Zombie's down to three. And they will stay at three, because zombies do not repopulate. Of course, that would be scary. Genius is just spreading like wildfire. I wish being smart was as popular in real life. Acid Proof is officially gone. They were doing something in there for a little while. Pretty much everyone that started next to Genius has either been wiped out completely or just taken over. Energize is still hanging in there. It's all a matter of time until they die of old age. Although it looks like, whoa, there's a zombie way over here. Did you see that? There was a zombie over here. Okay, I think Energize is gone. Looks like Genius just swooped in and took out Healing Aura's main islands. They're still in it though, dang. How was there a zombie way over there? Were the zombies on the boats? Interesting, I don't know. Okay, genius, up to 600 population. Looks like Golden Tooth took something over. Peaceful took over a new island. Golden Tooth took over Slow. Tough now has three islands, good for them. Genius still doing great. Kingdom Slow was destroyed. I thought they were already gone. They took that over a long time ago. Peaceful made peace with a mortal, how appropriate. Genius up to 700 population. Healing Aura has been taken over by Genius. Looks like Healing Aura is gone. What is this? Realm of the D? Realm of the Die? It's some rando new colony. I don't know, but they ain't gonna last long. Must have been like a rebellion or something. Okay, Peaceful's got three islands. Gluttonous was destroyed. Healing Aura was destroyed. Yep, Gluttonous is gone. Tough took it over. It looks like there's little revolutions. I think that's what these two are. Oh, what the heck? What is this entirely new thing? It's three different genius islands. I wonder if genius had a revolt. Interesting, that's not very genius of you. I don't know how Kingslayer's still alive in the middle of all this. How are you guys still doing it? I don't get it. Okay, yeah, genius definitely had a split. They're down to 500 population. Bummer, dude. Looks like Tuff took over Golden Tooth's main island. What the heck is going on here? Vimy is just taking over Genius's islands. The geniuses got too smart and turned on each other, I guess. Veteran has left their starting island. They're somewhere else entirely, but they're still in it. Let's go ahead and turn on Sonic Speed because this is moving a little bit slower than I want it to. I want it to get down to like the top five. Bunch of people just made peace. Veteran was destroyed. Fast was destroyed by peaceful? Not very peaceful of you. Okay, Tough is doing really well. They actually outpopulate genius now. There's been a ton of rebellions over here. I'm tempted to turn rebellions off because it's totally just turning it into something else entirely, but it's interesting to see that this side of the map has had so many rebellions. Tough is out here just like an unstoppable force. Yeah, look at this. All these are just random kingdoms now. Kingslayer was destroyed. Wise was destroyed. Tough is out here with seven islands. Make that eight. It looks like they have all these bad traits from their neighbors. Slow, ugly, <laughs> pyromaniac. Most of the kingdoms they had to take over were all pretty negative traits. So they've got a lot of negative traits mixed in for sure. But as long as they've got tough, they got something. Okay, genius is down to one island. Crazy to see how quickly that turned around for them. It's funny which totally random traits are still here, like Freeze Proof is still here? Why is Freeze Proof still here? Literally, they have nothing that helps them. But they're still in here. Just no one's really paid any attention to them, I guess. Just keeping their head down. Genius is struggling big time. Tough is over a thousand population. It's funny because I would think that Tough would have been a great trait for this, of course, but it took them so long to get started. Oh, Genius is gone. Genius has been wiped out. Dang, Agile was destroyed? Wow. Yeah, Tough's gonna win this thing. Look at them go. But yeah, it's like I would have thought, yeah, I mean, obviously Tough is great for this, but it was really all about like Genius and some of these other ones over here that were doing all the work. And Tough was just like a normal island for so long. And then now they just decided to turn it into Overdrive. 
and completely annihilate everyone, but their main opponent is Vimy, which isn't even a trait, so it's kind of like they already kind of won, unless unless immune can do something crazy, which being immune doesn't really do anything for you in this situation. Venomous was destroyed. Dang, look at that. Gone. So we're down to the final six. I, it's so funny that Immortal is still here. It's also funny that the same color as Tough. It's like Tough like doesn't even realize they're there. Ambitious just got wiped out by immune, looks like. Look at that weird spread there oh tough is on here though is tough gonna take it over yo look at that this is what they've been doing all game is just look at they pretty much painted the island pink like that yep all right another one for tough this is actually pretty cool i like this even just doing islands like this for like two kingdoms is cool you get to watch each individual push it's like much easier to see what's happening because everything happens like one at a time Okay, so we got Tough, Immune, and Viamy as our big final three. Freeze Proof just got destroyed, so they're not here anymore. Immortal? Apparently just no one even knows this island exists, including the people that live there, because they have done nothing this whole game. 660 years of life, and they ain't even built anything. They, they've done nothing. Tough's up to 3,000. Let's just rename this to Healing Aura, because I know it's mostly Healing Aura. Although I think at this point... The traits have been scrubbed out so much. Yeah, look at that. The traits are so mixed now. That's funny. They all have so many traits, though. Okay, I'm going to let it run real for a minute here just so we can get the like actual results, but I'm not going to commentate on the rest of it because it's just a matter of time now, I think. All right, we did it. Tough wins, bro. It took like, I fast forwarded for almost 2000 years <laughs> at the end there. It was so slow, but hey, they got it. Tough is the winner. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I could do something like this again. I feel like this whole island concept is a great way to like watch individual things kind of behave independent of each other. I know when everyone's all mixed together on a really big map, it's harder to keep track. So I really enjoyed being able to watch everyone in tiny areas and keep track of everyone. So um, shout out to the creator of the map. It just says Ben. So thanks, Ben, for this map. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you like that, and I will see you in the next video.